Have you ever felt persistently low for a long period of time? If so, you might be experiencing something called persistent depressive disorder or PDD. PDD, also known as dysthymia, is a long-term form of depression that extends for at least two years. But here's the thing. Persistent depressive disorder is not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. It's a serious mental health condition, just like any physical ailment. It's not something you can just snap out of or get over. It's real, it's profound, and it's incredibly tough to deal with. The good news is, it's not something you have to face alone. There are professionals who specialize in helping people navigate through the murky waters of PDD. They can provide the tools, support, and treatment that can help make life more manageable. Remember, if you're feeling persistently low, you're not alone, and help is available. So, how do you know if you're dealing with persistent depressive disorder? Well, the answer isn't always straightforward, but there are some common signs that can provide some clarity. Firstly, if you've been feeling a low mood for most of the day, almost every day, for at least two years, you might be dealing with persistent depressive disorder or PDD. This isn't just a case of the blues or a temporary slump, it's a constant, unshakable feeling of sadness or emptiness that just doesn't seem to lift. Secondly, you might find that you're no longer interested in activities that you used to enjoy. It's like the color has been drained out of life and things that once brought you joy are now just… bland. Feelings of hopelessness are also a significant symptom. This is more than just feeling down, it's a sense of despair, a feeling that things will never get better, no matter what you do. Low self-esteem is another hallmark of PDD. You may find yourself being overly critical of yourself, feeling worthless, or believing that you're not good enough. It's like there's a constant negative voice in your head, putting you down and making you doubt your worth. Finally, you might have difficulty concentrating or making decisions. Simple tasks can feel overwhelming, and it can be hard to focus or make choices, even about seemingly trivial things. Now, it's important to remember that these symptoms must be present for at least two years for a diagnosis of PDD. And just because you're experiencing some of these symptoms, it doesn't necessarily mean you have PDD. Mental health is complex, and symptoms can overlap with other conditions. But if this is sounding familiar, if you're nodding along and thinking, that's me, then it might be time to reach out to a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. In fact, it's the strongest thing you can do. If you're experiencing these symptoms, it's important to reach out to a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis. Now that we've identified the symptoms, let's talk about the treatment options for persistent depressive disorder. Firstly, a common and effective treatment for PDD is psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy. This involves speaking with a mental health professional about your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, is a type of psychotherapy that helps you understand how your thoughts and behaviors can affect your mood. It teaches you strategies to change negative thinking patterns and improve your coping skills. Another common treatment for PDD is medication. Antidepressants can be very effective in treating depression, and there are several types available. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, and serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, are often the first choice. However, everyone is different, and what works best will depend on your individual symptoms, overall health, and response to medication. In addition to psychotherapy and medication, lifestyle changes can also play a crucial role in managing PDD. Regular physical activity can boost your mood and help you feel better. A healthy diet can also support your overall mental health. Try to include plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains in your meals. And don't forget about sleep. Getting a good night's rest is incredibly important for your mental health. Lastly, Having a strong support network is invaluable when dealing with PDD. This might include friends, family, or support groups of people who understand what you're going through. Don't be afraid to reach out to them and share your experiences. It's important to remember that everyone's experience with PDD is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. Finding the right treatment can take time and patience, but it's worth the effort. If you believe you may have PDD, reach out to a healthcare provider. They can help you understand your symptoms and guide you towards the most appropriate treatment options. The right treatment plan can significantly improve your quality of life, so don't hesitate to seek help. In conclusion, persistent depressive disorder, or PDD, is a serious but treatable condition. It's a chronic form of depression that can have a profound impact on a person's daily life, 
affecting their ability to function and enjoy life. But it's important to know that it's not a life sentence, and there's hope for those who are suffering. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We've come to understand that PDD is characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and a lack of interest in daily activities. These symptoms are present most of the day, for more days than not, and last for at least two years. Other symptoms include changes in sleep and appetite, low energy, poor concentration, and feelings of worthlessness. But remember, PDD is not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. It's a medical condition with a biological and chemical basis, just like diabetes or heart disease. And like these conditions, it requires professional help for effective treatment. We've also discussed that treatment typically involves a combination of medication and psychotherapy. Antidepressants can help manage the symptoms, while cognitive behavioral therapy or interpersonal therapy can help individuals learn new ways of thinking and behaving, improving their ability to cope with life's challenges. Lifestyle changes like regular exercise, a healthy diet, and adequate sleep can also play a significant role in managing PDD. But perhaps the most crucial takeaway from today's discussion is this. If you or someone you know is struggling with symptoms that could be PDD, it's vital to reach out to a healthcare professional. It can be a difficult step to take, but it's a step in the right direction. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Reach out and start your journey to a healthier, happier you. There's a whole community of professionals and support networks ready to guide you through this journey. You're not alone, and with the right help, you can reclaim your life from the grips of PDD. So take that first step today, because a brighter, more fulfilling life awaits you on the other side.